So I don't to check your emails. No. <laughs> Sorry, I just didn't think it's worth it, that's all. Um, Jerome, do us a favour, see if there's any more emails off my mum there. No, there won't be because she told me she's going to give us a ring next time. I don't mind having a look. It's okay, I'll do it myself later on. <laughs> Why don't you come and see what she um, sent through earlier? Yeah. Close down and come and have a look. Um. What do you think of my mum's wedding outfit, Jay? Oh, has she had some kind of accident? Why? What do you mean? Well, look, she's only got one arm. <laughs> the way she stands in your dope. Are you sure? <laughs> It'd be daft, Jim. Oh, she can't wait for the wedding. Mm, neither can I. <laughs> doesn't matter about me, then, doesn't it? My big day. Sorry, Em. Oh, has your dress only got one arm as well, Em? <laughs> hey, one arm is enough to crack you with. She's gonna look stunning, isn't she, Jake? Yeah, I'm telling you. Adele! You getting up or what? It's nearly three o'clock. Coming on, eh? How can anyone sleep so long? Not well. No, it's your own fault. You shouldn't drink so much. Oh, and you never drink, like? I can take it. You never did all this. Oh, no, of course you didn't. I did it during the night. Why are you such a knock? I didn't have to take out here last night, eh? You mean Laura? Yeah, here as well. Well, she was drunk. And what about you? The old. Well, it was only me top, so don't go on. No, but someone's got to. I had all the neighbours gawping. It was only Debbie Gordon. Oh, your boss. I'll apologise. Going out. I want this place back to normal by the time I get back. Oh, and by the way, hope you've got plenty of overtime coming up at the garage. Why? So you can pay for the respray on me van. Just seeing next door's back garden. It's totally trashed. That was Dale's party yesterday. Oh, it's a show. I know, that's why I don't want my beer to party here. Why not? Because I couldn't be bothered with the mess. I went in like one of the nice posh clubs, like the one we were in last week. Did I cost you a bomb? Yeah, but it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it, Tim? Whatever my little lady wants, she can have. Yeah, look, I've just found an off on doorstep. You ready, Tim? Yep, sure am. Whoa, ready for what? Uh, you just got a little job on. Uh, Tim, it's my graduation day today. Yeah, no, don't freak. Uh, but you're gonna come back all mucky, and I hate it when you're smelly. No, it's not a house clearance. It's just the delivery. Flat packs in it, Steve. Honest, Tim. See, and it's money up front. And if we run out of bevies later on in your hands, it could come in handy, couldn't it? OK, then, but no messing about. And I want you back here as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. See you later. I thought you were getting ready. Oh, well, uh, I was just um, finishing off a little job in the garage. Yeah, I know your little jobs. Like that monstrosity over there. What? My table? I wish you'd burn it with the rest of you rubbish. That's going nowhere. Sorry, Jess, I'm going to put my foot down about that. I wish you'd put your foot through it. Mm. <laughs> hey, uh, can I help? Yes, you can. You can go and get yourself dressed. I've ironed that new shirt I bought you specially for the occasion. Well, we've got loads of time yet. Listen, do you realise how important today is for me? Of course. I don't think you do. Otherwise, you'd have made a bit more of an effort. Well, it's only a graduation party, isn't it? Not a proper one at that. Typical. Just because you don't understand. This is our Emily's graduation. I know how hard she's tried on this course. She's trying to give herself a better future, so I don't want anything to go wrong. And I expect a bit of backup from you. All right, then. I'll, uh, I'll go and change then. You can make up the punch while I go and see the girls. Any luck? Not yet. Do you reckon you'll have them done by delivery time tomorrow? Yeah. Good. I'd hate to lose this contract. We won't. Yeah, well, I hope not, because it's the one that pays the bills in this house. The lick is free. Not all of it. And that's just between me and you, remember? I'm not stupid. Yeah. Well, give us a shout when you're finished there. I'll have a look at them. 
In 20 minutes, yeah. How much? 70 quid. Oh, sound. Hey, 30 quid each and a tenner for diesel. How's that grab you? Do me. You're loaded. Yep. How many drop-offs? Just the one. Oh, brilliant. Where about? Would you believe it? It's only five minutes from the parade. Nice one. Hey, what's in the boxes anyway? I don't know. Not in classy, though. Hooky said they're going for 20 quid. You know, be cheap wardrobes or something. Come on, let's go. It's all them it wouldn't be like. Sorry to deceive you. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm nearly finished. Uh, do you want a coffee? No, I've got to get back. I'm just wondering what you're up to tonight. Well, I'm here until closing, so. Well, me and Nisha finish at five, so we're going to come here for a drink. You're up for it? OK. Hey, it's starting to become a regular girl's night out, this. Yeah, about time, too. Might go to town as well after eight if you fancy it. See you later. Uh, Jimmy is just so jammy. I mean, Florida. That's a point. What is? Oh, no, I was just speaking to Helen last night about Jimmy and work. And? Um, she was just asking if we'd heard from him. Why would we? I mean, he's probably having the time of his life. Why shouldn't he? That's what I mean. He's not going to be worried about us, is he? He might be. Nah, Em's right. I mean, if he can't be bothered phoning Helen, love his life, then he will we, eh? <laughs> Yeah, he's out there with all his family. He knows we're all going to be here when he gets back. If he gets back? What do you mean? Well, <sighs> probably having that much of a good time out there. He might decide to stay, you know, get a job or something. She's right, Nick. And if that's the case, then your wedding plans will be well and truly messed up, eh? Yeah, I'm going to have to ring the customer tomorrow and explain about the mess you made of things. Everything I do is wrong with you, isn't it? Well, what do you expect, eh? The customer's bound to complain when we can't even complete a simple job. And don't forget, they might want compo. So what happens then? Well, then you're going to be a bit like new wages, aren't you? Ron, we're stuck enough as it is without losing more wages. It's always going to be like this, isn't it? Mike, the fall guy. Michael, you put yourself in these positions. Because I'm going round and round in circles. Do you know what? I feel like I'm in that film Grand Dog Day. I'm stuck in a rut. Every day's the same. Exactly, because that's the same excuse every time. Well, it's true. Oh, rubbish, you bring it on yourself. I've got no sympathy. Listen, if you want to do something useful, post that junk mail I've just collected. Hey! <laughs> all right, Steve. Do you fancy a glass of punch? I'll just make this up for later. Er, uh, no, I'm all right, you know. It's good stuff. And you've got? Hey, just a couple. What do you think? Yeah. What? Is it? I'll put a bit in. Hey, steady on, lad, steady on. Go on. That's just right. Have a taste. Oh. Oh, hey. That, that, that is brilliant. Hey, I owe you one. Well, uh, you can do me a favour now, then, eh? Yeah, if I can, if I can. What it is is uh, me and Steve have been offloading some flat packs, and there's one left over, so I'm going to keep it. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, but I don't know what's in it. And it might be something that Emily can use. So, would they be able to store it in your garage until I have a chance to set it up? Yeah, yeah, not at all. Go on, just bring the lot in. There's only one. Well, just bring the one in. All right, open up your garage then, eh? No, no, I'll do that later. Just pop them in the hall. Cheers, mate. Right. Hello, Steve. All right, Ray. Has he been drinking? He's been smoking punch. And I've laced it. Jess will punch him when she sees him. <laughs> right, uh, Ray, if you want to have a go at this, you can do, you know. Oh, cheers, that's Yeah, I might just do that. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Adele! Look at the state of this place. We're doing it now. You mean you caused all this? I had a few meat jar for a drink. Did you now? Do you fancy giving us a hand? No, thank you very much. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. And I'll make you a coffee while I'm at it, see if I can get some life back into you. Yeah, oh, it's banging. It'd be more than your head that's banging if your mum and dad hear about this. It's just as bad in here. There's mud all over the floor. Has somebody been walking up these walls? Oh, don't go on. Well, somebody's got to. You're supposed to be a young lady. <sighs> Looks as if you've had an orgy in here. Do you mind? I've had enough of an earful of our Steve. Well, good for him. He promised your mum and daddy he'd be responsible for you. That's why they went away. It doesn't seem like though, does it? I mean, a fella can come into a bar and stand there all night on his own drinking. But if a woman comes in on her own and stands by the bar... I know what you're going to say. She gets a name. Yeah, well, we have to turn the tables round on them, don't we? And how do we do that? 
You make the first move, and then we get called slacks. Not anymore, we don't. It's expected. We chase after the boys now. How do you mean like you did with Jerome? Hardly a saint yourself, Katie. <laughs> Now everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, exactly. You know, we don't go out and plant a snare of fella, do we? What? Uh, me and Max not so long ago, remember? Let's forget that, shall we? Should we get another drink in? Are you ready, Ray? Oh. Ray, man! What's the matter? Oh. Oh. You're know what's the matter, you drunken old fool. Look at your shirt now. Well, I only had the one. Why do I bother? Jesse! Jess! Oh. 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 Jesse! Jess! Oh, Jess! 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 Oh. 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 Oh, she does moan. Moan, moan. Moan, moan, moan. That's all she does is moan. I'm no good. All my stuff is rubbish. It's rubbish. Oh. I'll show it. I'll show it! I'll show it! Wrong man. Where's Ray? He won't be coming to your big day, love. Why not? Something happens. Yes, love, something has. He's drunk. How? Well, we only decided to test the punch, didn't he? He promised me he'd be ready. One small thing I asked him to do, and he couldn't even do that. Come on, sit down. But no, I'll be all right. Well, come on then, now, let's go. You're going to be okay. I'll tell you what, we'll all shout at him when we get back. Shout at him? What's the point in that? He's useless. He can't do a single thing right. He messes everything up for me. Oh, I've never had such bad luck as since I met him. Mm. And I'm really sorry I got married. Do you know again? Oh, I'm not spoiling your big day, love. Not because of some self-obsessed old man. All right, um, should we get off, eh? These last two couple of years have been so bad. You know. As if it wasn't bad enough losing your dad and Jason. And I know we'll never get over them. But just when you think you can pick up the pieces and start your life all over again, something else happens. And that's something with Ray Flame and Hilton. Oh, it'll be all right tomorrow, Nan. Oh, I don't think so. Not with Mr Selfish living over there. He's great, isn't he? First I discover he's got a secret daughter, then a granddaughter, and then old Mrs Snooty Kex from Finland or wherever it is comes round meddling. Iceland, wasn't it? <coughs> Nan. He sets fire to me lovely house and burns it down. But we have to go cabby land living with the neighbours and getting involved with all their problems. And then they start treating us like dead. And Ray won't even stand up to them. He's got no pride, that man. But I have. And I'm telling you now, I've had enough. Come on, Nan, you're going to feel much better when you go and see our Emily graduate. Nan, we're not going. Em? I mean, Anna's more important than some stupid ceremony. Oh, no, love, let's go. This is your big day. You've been looking forward to it for ages. I mean, Anne's right, Em. No, I'm right. I still get me a wall, but it's just... I'll be able to show off my new outfit. Oh, no, you've got to go. I haven't. So what's happening, then? What's happening is you can all go down the bar. They're going to look after me now. Looks like I'll you to leave them, boys. Call me. <laughs> So go on. Spill. I'm going to Spain again next week at half term. To see Ted. Thanks to Ted. Well, he'll be there, obviously. Oh, who's Ted? Some fella Sammy's knocking off. <laughs> hey, I am not. Some married fella got loads of money. Oh, well, that figures. I am not like that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you're all only just. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, thanks, love. I'm really sorry about this, girls, but he annoys me so much it hurts, and I can't take it much longer. I thought it got it all out of my system when I smashed that flaming table. Must you will always be here for you, you know. Do you know what I think? You need a break. Get away from it all. Well, I'm seriously thinking about that, Nicky. 
Risha from the bingo has asked me to go to Benidorm, spend the winter there. Well, why don't you then? That'd be brilliant, huh? Oh, yes, it would, wouldn't it? And what about Mr Doom and Gloom over there? You'd want to take our special pensioners' chairs to sit on the beach on, eating off our fancy little clip-on trays. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him here, then. Yeah, go without him. Do you know what? I really think I should. It's looking good, Ron. Healing up really well. Feels better. That's because you've had plenty of relaxation. Relaxation? Don't get any of that in this house. Harry, watch Beth near those bushes. Right, I'm just going to go to the shops. We tell Mike that I've taken that last wash out of the machine. Er, uh, no cock-ups this time. He is Chinese best, you know. Emma, pick Beth up now. What was all that about? Tell Michael, isn't it? Oh, what's he done now? Ruined a machine full of washing. To be fair, it was little Josh's fault, but Michael should have been watching him. Ron, you're going to have to calm down. You can't go on like this, shouting at Mike all the time. He's such a letdown, though. Not all the time, surely. Well, most of it. I just feel like I can't trust him to do anything. Oh, they're all the same. Look at our Adele. She had some of her mates round yesterday for an all-day drinking session. <laughs> Place looks like a pigsty. Hey. Our Michael's nearly 30, your Adele's still a kid, that's the difference. And he still gets all cobby when I give him a rollicking, even though he is in the wrong. And they pull all kinds of faces when you try and give them advice. Kids. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, get those leg muscles working, then we can moan about the new generation in the fresh air. <sighs> Hope we don't get mugged while we're out. Job well done, son. <laughs> Up yours, Jesse. Oh, 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 yours. Ray's gonna have the biggest head in the morning. Oh, yeah, Jesse's gonna have to drag him out of bed. Oh, women well, just don't understand. Tell me about it. <laughs> Why you get married then? Because I love Nikki. Still see you, didn't it? <laughs> now then, lads, see you, Wigan, are we? Might be. Who wants to know? Ooh, a real man. Leave it out, eighteen. Fancy joining us for a drink? Oh, come over there. Come oh, on, there'd be a grin. Oh, sorry, on second thoughts, hon. You better go back over there. It's not pull a pig, nice. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. <laughs> you know what? We spent all that dosh on beer over Ray's. I'm spending even more money here. And it's all over there waiting for us. So what are we waiting for then, eh? Come on, Come on lads! Wiggle your bums! <laughs> Did you have to do that? Oh, you've seen enough of their bums, haven't you, Nish? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You've had two of them, haven't you? Well, you should have just made it a full set and grabbed Tim O'Ladies as well. <laughs> I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Anyway, how do you build this bum, Casey? Oh, he's a lovely fella, that Nick. I don't know, I haven't heard from him. Oh, no, How long has he been in Spain for? Four weeks, three days, eight hours and uh, six minutes. <laughs> I'm just off to check on the house. Try and be a bit quiet. Your dad's having a doze. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, Mike. He's just had a major operation. Yeah, it should have been on his mouth. Stopped him having to go at me. Well, perhaps he's got good reason to. Why don't you start? Well, he does look after you and Rachel. How does he? He keeps a roof over your head. Yeah, well, I'm his son. I know that. And he has to put up with his son's little ways. How much you know about it? Enough. Believe me. Just wait there a minute, lads. Happy now. Shouldn't have been like that in the first place, though. Just got lost, Willie. You do my head in. Well, I'm a big brother. It's my job. Feels like I'm on big brother with you sometimes. Oh, I'm watching you. Don't play with your stupid mates. They're outside. Wondering if you'll do a strip for me. Oh, get out. I'm fed up. You are. I walked past the bar with Harry and Emma, and there was Jackie knocking back drinks with Katie and all that. Where's the kids? Well, Max has got them for a couple of hours, and then I take over again. He's working tonight. Where's Beth? Just put her upstairs. Do you know what, Rich? I've had it with all this. I oh, know, it's getting me down as well. It's not enough me and my dad are at each other's throats. Bridget's on my case now as well. What's it got to do with her? Exactly. He must be telling her all our business. Where is he? Probably moaning in his sleep. To get away from here, Rachel. Oh, I will soon. No, I mean today. Today? Yeah, I can't cope with all this. It's too much stress. Oh, you're gonna have to. We can't just leave like that. And anyway, where would we go? Well, I'll find somewhere. I just need to get away from this dump. 
Oh, Mike, we just calm down? Why should I? I get blamed for everything in this house. Look, I want to move as well. But don't you think it'd be better to have waited till we've got a place of our own? How when's that gonna be? Rachel, we've been saying it for ages, and where are we? We're still stuck with that old cryer. Don't believe it. I'm telling you. Where did that come from? It wasn't water. It was a coffin. How scary is that? What are you on about? You know that job we had? It was flat packs. We had one left over and... <laughs> and you give it away. No. no, that is scary. I only asked them to mind it for me. Oh, so you're looking to keep over and die yourself, are you? No, so soft lad. I didn't know it was a coffin. No. He's well away. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Shh, oh. <gasps> this is brilliant. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is just too good of a chance to miss. I don't get you. <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> what are you two thinking? <laughs> Stop. You know, Nan, things do get on top sometimes. I mean, it's only to be expected. All your people are moving back into the bungalow. Yeah. She's right. It can cause a lot of stress. Yeah, but if Ray and I carry on like this, we're going to spoil Nick's big day as well. I don't worry, Nan. It won't. I know neither of you knew your granddad, but he was great. I feel as if I've settled for second best, because I have to have someone beside me. Look, I think the best thing you can do is sit down, talk to Ray, and tell him exactly what you want and what you don't want. Come on. Let's go over and tell me that you're going to go to Spain. Oh, not yet. I think we should wait till we're good and ready. Well, can we still go over to yours? We've got more beer and butties over there. Yeah. We can still celebrate my day, can't we? Do you think? Of course we do, yeah. Come on. Right, come on, then. With a bit of luck, he'll have drowned himself in the punch. <laughs> Same again, girls. Oh, do you right? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not for me, thanks. Why not? I think I've had enough. Come on, Jackie, it's girls, mate. You just don't want to get too drunk before we get into town, do you? Hey, I'm getting drunk just in case we go to that lap dancing bar. Well, there's nothing better than strong arms and bulging pecs. <laughs> uh, who's looking at bulging pecs? <laughs> do you know what? She's being crafty. She's staying sober so she can see who she's getting to grips with. No, I'm mm. not. Look, I just can't go. Oh, well, why not? I might pick old Maxie up a bit when you get home. Uh, because I've got to pick the kids up from Rachel and Max is working later. Oh, come on, Jackie. You did this last week. You're right, let oh, Excuse. <laughs> Well, he hasn't drowned himself in the punch bowl with luck. <laughs> Nan! I've found something right up your street. Peace of mind for 20 quid. It's a real bargain of our team. You can't be on with them, are you? No. Well, if you're not having it off with them already, he's definitely trying to split you up. Anyway, me, Rachel and Beth will move on out. And that's tomorrow at 8.30. Now, tonight at 10, the story of a marriage that goes horribly wrong in the drama Falling Apart. Next on 4, though, Nigella with a hint of mint. It was a joke! Didn't you think of what could have happened? You're not taking it back to them like that. Their property, and I told them last night we're giving up the contract. You what? No more rowing, do you hear me? <sighs> oh, me poor Nan. I thought you'd had to heart attack when she collapsed. It's bad enough him getting drunk and then all that. And you should have known better. You saw how upset that she was. It was a joke. I didn't know it was a coffin. I thought it was a wardrobe or something. Yeah, right. I only asked them to store it. I didn't think he'd build it. And anyway, Jay was in out and all. Do you want one of these? No, he's gone to town. Still looking for his wedding suit. 
back and what, and you've let him go on his own. Well, he's a grown-up now, you know. Yeah, but he could come back with something... something minging. I mean... Oh, what your image to think of as well, you know. He could make a show of you. No, he won't. He's gone with his mum and she's paying for it, so he won't come back with not enough. Oh, I'd still follow him into town. Mm, typical. So what's happening about this wedding, do? Oh, well, Jackie Farnham offered me a lousy discount, so binned off Bar Brookie. My mum's paying for it, though, isn't she? Yeah, I still don't want it there. So where are you going to have it? I don't know. Got work to do anyway. Mmm. Checking that there's any emails off. Hey! How do you feel? How do you think I feel? Coming in and finding my husband lying in a coffin. Are you all right? Well, apart from hardly sleeping a wink after you nearly gave me heart failure, oh, yes, I'm fine. Look, I, I can't go on apologising. Here, get these down, you. I dare. I didn't do it on purpose, you know. It was such a shock. You lying there like, like you were dead. I suppose it should make us realise how lucky we are. Having each other. But you're not out the doghouse yet. I want that out of here. Not so fast. I forgot. Can you get us a cup of tea? You're having a bath. What's going to happen when she has to leave? The flat will be ready soon. I can tea while I'm soaking. I don't know. We're going to be nursemaid name forever, more. Do you really want that? You know what, I'm sick of it. Not half as much as I am. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Rich, one more week here and I'll end up in his old prison cell. And where can we go? I don't care. Just as long as it's away from him, out of working hours. Mike, I'm serious. We've got Beth to think about. Well, Beth's still looking for a lodger. I'm not even considering that. Well, at least it's going to be away from him. No, Mike, I couldn't. All right, then, a bed and breakfast. Just for a couple of days, then we'll find a one-bedroom flat. Money. We've still got debts to pay off. We'll manage. We've got you, Rich. I mean it. I can't stay here. I've been thinking. Oh, for heaven's sake, I told you to get shut of it. Look, I, I know how you feel, love, but... Get it out of here. No, I I'm serious. If you could just put aside your objections and think for a minute. How can I think with that thing there? I nearly died of shock when I saw this. Look, we're all going to need one of these one days, aren't we? Hey. Now, Tim got this for 20 quid. And Undertaker started 400 quid upwards. I am not interested. Well, look, if I might get two of these and finish them off, you know, just think of the money we'd save for our family when our day comes. I don't believe I'm hearing this. We're supposed to be looking forward to our retirement. We've been invited to go and stay in Spain. And you're thinking about death. Well, no, I'm just thinking about a bit of forward planning. Stop it! I don't want to hear any more. But I can stick them up in the loft till they're needed. Get it out of here! Shouldn't you be in school? Not worth it. Could break up today. But you couldn't get away with that if my dad and die, would you? Yeah, well, they aren't, are they? So where are you going then, all tarted up? I've got some makeup on, that's all. For who? If you must know, I'm working the savvy. Debbie's give me some extra hours at the garage. When was that before or after? She saw you making sure of yourself running around with no clothes on. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Don't be surprised if she bins you off. Do you reckon she will? I would. I don't want any more stupid parties messing about or sneaking any lads in here. I've told you I'm working. Look, my dad and I went away to try and sort things out. The last thing they need is you causing any more grief. Do you think they'll split up? I don't know. Just behave yourself, eh? Well, you don't have to worry about me after tonight, cos I'm gonna stay with Laura for a couple of days. Well, I'll be ringing her mum to check up on you. Don't you dare. If there's any more stupid carrying on, I'll find out. Don't you dare embarrass me. I think you've already done that. In front of the whole close. Morning. Ah, just the fella. I was going to call over later. Looks like I've saved you the job then, doesn't it? Oh. I found something right up your street. Peace of mind for 20 quid. It's a real bargain off our team. Are you sure you're all right, man? I'll be fine when that thing's out of here. It's a mouth gives a fright. Arnie, he said it reminds me when. I like before my dad's funeral. Exactly. Can you see why I want shut of it? She's not upset, is she? No, no. She's fine. I'm worried about her. Is she still emailing the other fella? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know if she is or she isn't, but she's got a face in this morning and went straight on that computer. Jerome should put his foot down. He should never have let her get involved. Getting him out of hospital, promising to look after him. 
We should be able to jump him when she gets married and moves out. Well, let's hope so. I'd have him round here like a shot if it would keep her away from him. You've got a sick sense of humour, Ray Hilton. I didn't go through a triple bypass just so you could flog me a coffin. He's got years of life ahead of him. Are you wishing me dead or what? I thought you'd go for it. It's a sound investment. You can save your family hundreds of pounds. That's enough. Come on. He's just had major surgery. You could have set him back weeks. I'm oh, sorry. No wonder Jesse says he's fit to burn sometimes. Not about price, though, was it? <laughs> Come on, I'm walking around to work. No, no, I'd better get going. It's still here. Well, it's heavier than you think. I'm going to need a hand. Well, don't look at me. Hey, Tim was the one who brought it round. Are you getting to shift it? It's morbid. I suppose I could cannibalise it, mix some more furniture. Don't even think about it. I want that out of here when I get back. Come on, love. Hey, it's a shop for hockey. Yep, it's moving antique furniture to the auction place. Antiques, hockey. Yeah, got to be dodgy. Well, it's 50 bonds between us. That'll do me. Exactly. Judging this fella screw me business up with the flaming website. Have you told your mate to upset me now, Mars, about that stupid stunt? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't do anything like that again. <laughs> Hello? Just a sec, Ray. Ray, for you. Oh, it's the voice beyond the grave. You should be apologising, both of you. <laughs> Hello, Ray. All right. Yeah, can we do it later? We've got a job on. Before she gets back. Ooh, so you'd say it was a life or death job then, Ray. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Christy. No, he's gone out. So no, he didn't say. Urgent. What's it about? Okay, okay. Hello? And I'll be able to do days no problem when he's at school, but next week. Mm. Well, I'll help when I can. And you can get Mike to do his share. Well, after the other day. We ruined Mike's laundry. Yeah, you tell me. He was only trying to help. Mike was in last night. He's had to give up that contract, you know. I mean, how am I going to ask him to look after Josh after that? I feel terrible. Well, we'll, we'll manage between us, OK? I hope so, cos I cannot cope with him going off the rails again. All right. Yeah. Um, did you have a word with Jackie? Eh? Hey? About me taking half-term off? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, she went by it. Oh, you're kidding. No, she's had to cancel some day out with Max and the kids herself. Not a happy bunny. Brilliant. Sorry. She can be like a cow sometimes. Mm. Christy, I told you he's out. Well, I don't know if he took his mobile. What's this all about? Can I help? Are you in trouble? It sounds like it. All right, don't be so snotty. I'll tell him when I see him. Bye. Meth. Right. I'll get this shopping, then. Oh, wait, can you get us some razor blades, please? Just a throwaway kind will do. And, uh, if you could drop these in the post for us. Anything you want, Mike? No, thanks. Right. Won't be long. Thank you. Bye. Ta-da. Dad, there's something I've got to tell you. Don't tell me you've ruined somebody else's stuff. Dad, will you just listen? Me and Rach have been talking about us living here. And when it's not working. What's wrong with it? Well, look, Dad, I don't want another narc. We've had enough of them already, and it's not doing either of us any good. Anyway, me, Rachel and Beth, we're moving out. What about the business? Well, I'll carry on working here, but we'll move into our own place. <laughs> there. Well, we'll find somewhere. Come on, Michael, how are you going to manage that? you got a wife, a child, you're up to your ears in debt, and I don't exactly pay your megabucks, don't do I? We've got to go. We've got to have our own space. Get real, will you, Michael? Look, just because you messed up a contract doesn't mean you've got to cut your nose off to spite your face. It's got nothing to do with that. It's just time we went. It's time we had our own life. It's going to be tough, you know. I mean, who do you think pays the bills in here? Max pays the lecky. Don't get clever. I'm serious, you know. You're going to have to pay all your own bills. Now, how are you going to manage that? Well, I'll find a way. Dad, I'm sick and tired of you making me look and feel like some no-mark. 
We'll manage. It's gonna happen, Dad. I'm just gonna go and tell Rach. You don't think she could sack me because of what happened, do you? No, I want the job. I need it. I want to go to Cyprus. I need the money. Oh, someone's at the door. Well, I get off about half nine if she hasn't given me the elbow. So I'll come straight round to yours, okay? I'm coming. Look, I'll have to go. Okay, try. Said I'm coming. Is you back yet? No, why? What's happened? Is it about my mum and dad? No. Well, is our Steve in trouble? No. Have you any idea where he is? I haven't a clue. Well, is it you in trouble? No. But I will be unless I get out of your Steve. So where do you want us to take it then, Ray? Well, uh, could you keep it at Jimmy's? Oh, not a chance. After the way Emma and Nicky went on, I mean. <laughs> but what about your place? Yeah, no, sir. Do you know, I don't know why Jesse's so touchy about it. You want to keep it, don't you? Oh, well, I'd like to line it, you know, and varnish it and put the handles on and that. Well, you can see the logic of it, can't you? A DIY fellow like myself making his own box. Yeah. Why don't you put it in the garage? Yeah, yeah, Jesse never goes in there. Well, you, you won't say anything? Not no. at all. But there is the matter of 20 quid. That's the going price for one of these things. Done. You put it in the garage, I'll give you 20 quid. Done. Should we do it now, then? Yep. You keep me out of it, won't you? Hey, I'll go and get the cash. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, steady. Right, open the shoulder. Oh, Pally, quick. Come and see. I'm telling you, you must have croaked it or something. Minty coffin. No handles on that. What are you staring at? Nothing. Hey, take that cap off and show some respect. You usually stare at someone's coffin, do you? No oh, decency, the pair of yous. What if it was our fault? What? Will we give him all that ash? What if we give him an eye attack? Oh, don't be soft. He was about 102, wasn't he? Could have kicked the bookers any time. Found the flat, have you? What's going on here? Turn back for five minutes. Go on. Go and sit down. I am fed up of sitting in there like a lemon. Will you do as you are told? You are not fit to work. Where's Mike? He's gone to find somewhere to live. What? Yeah, he's suddenly announced that he's had enough of living here with me, so him, Rachel and our Beth are going. So you take it upon yourself to take on the work. I don't know the selfish stone, so doesn't he realise how hard it is to cope without help? No, no, he's going to carry on working here. But it's not only the work you need help with. Have you had a row? No. Well, I hope he hasn't upset you. Look, I'm fine, OK? No, you are not fine. You're gasping. Oh, why did he have to do this now? He knows he's not supposed to get you agitated, and he drops this on you. Why couldn't he just leave it? Yeah, well, maybe it's time that he started to make his own way. And it's time I started working, so if you don't mind, I'd like to get up and finish what I started. Just stay where you are. Plot and sand, you... You treat me like I'm a dead store. I might as well have bought that cup price flaming coffin. Hiya, Nick, it's me. I bet this surprised you. Never done one of these talking email thingies before. Had to rehearse a bit. So, here goes. <laughs> me and our Lynns were having a good old natter last night about, you know, what makes a perfect relationship. We were talking about you, you know, and uh, I know people change. But as the other woman in my life, I just think you should be sure. Is he the man you really want, or...? What is going on? Just a talking email. Nikki, something. I know what it is and I know what it's from. What are you doing sending you recorded messages? It's just a way of him, like... What are you doing calling you the other woman? No, he didn't call me the other woman. He said, woman in my life. Oh, same difference. I know what it means. You've got it wrong. You're carrying on with him, aren't you? No. Well, if you're not having it off with him already, he's definitely trying to split you up. Jerome was right. He wants you for himself. He's a dirty I'll get. Stop it now. Don't be so stupid. Jimmy's just got a different way of putting things. He's talking to me like I'm... like I'm some second daughter to him. He's talking to you like you're some bit on the side. Don't you dare say that. You have got no idea, and neither has Jay. I might be close to him. Very close. But sex has got nothing to do with it. I've helped him through months of upset since he got out of hospital. We go back. He confides in me like no-one else. But you... you can't see that, can you? 
Um, it's only weeks until I get married. He wants to advise me. He wants to know that I'm okay with everything. Don't you think if our dad was still here today, he'd want to be doing exactly the same thing? I still don't believe you, and I still think it's weird. I think what you want, Emily. Go to see Jay. Okay, thanks anyway. Oh, one bedroom flats like gold dust. What did they say? It went two hours ago. Oh, I am never going to get out of that bed sit. You could always move in with us. I could do with the money. Yeah, I'll move in tonight, shall I? Just after Josh moves out. I'm being serious. I need a lodger. So am I. I mean, I love playing with him and all that, but what can I be turned him back, can't I? He's not that bad, is he? He can be. Oh, I'd never get him in its piece, would I? Hey, and what would he do with my car? I dread to think. You are obsessed with that toy car. Model car. I should have it finished in the next couple of days. Oh, it'd be ideal if you moved in. I could really do with the extra money every month. Sorry. I haven't got a prayer, have I? Look, I am sorry. I'm gonna have to tell work I'll be in next week, not on holiday. But you can still take a break. Well, what's the point when you're not off? Why can't you just phone Jackie up and tell her it's not on? No, I can't. She'll probably give me the sack. Bev says she can be right calm when she wants. Well, tell her you quit, then. No. Ruth, you can get a bar job anywhere. I mean, it's not as convenient as this place. It's close to Mum's, close to school. Do you know what? I was really looking forward to next week as well. I'm sorry. Thanks. We can't live here. Look at it, it's filthy. It's just not that bad. Mike, it's the pits. I'm not living in a dump like this, and neither's our Beth. Look, it's only till we get a deposit together for the furnished place. When's that gonna be? We should have stuck it out your dad's until we found the money. I can't live in a place like this. Rachel, I can't go crawling back to my dad's. What else can we do? Well, there's only one place I can think of. I mean, why do you need to work anyway? We hardly see each other with me on nights. You need the money? Yeah, but I'm earning. Do you want to be at Mum and Dad's forever? We'll just get our own place or something. We'll get it a lot quicker if we stop putting the wages away. Guess what? I've told you not to be in here, outside. Mr. Hunt next door. He's dead. Really? Well, what happened? Well, they were carrying the coffin out and they put it in the garage. It's true, we saw them. So, there is a good after all. Bye-bye, Ray Hilton. Don't say things like that. He wasn't paying, though. Come on, Ali, have a bit of respect. He was also your neighbour. You two didn't make his last days very happy. He was ancient. Ruth's right, this isn't the time to be talking like that. Hey, um, have you got any uh, sympathy cards? Just birthdays and stuff. You already know the guy. You don't need to get him a card. Your mum said she'd be sending them flowers. Hey, are you in any of these? Get lost. I mean, after the other day, I thought you might be going topless in here. Pump two, twenty pound, please. Come on, get your baths off for the lads. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you dirty yob. You should be ashamed of yourself talking to a girl like that. Get that back where it belongs. It's not funny. Don't let him get away with it, love. Want your receipt? <laughs> who was she? Do you know her? No. She's just someone who doesn't like sexist schoolboys. Oh, come on, you let's go. Tell me when I'll pay her for this later. One ninety now. I'll pay here. No credit, especially for you two, she said. Tonight? Yeah, we were gonna go to a B&B, but the place we saw was... Filthy. It wouldn't be for long, Bev. Just till we get a flat sorted. I'm gonna have to charge her, you know. Yeah, well, that's no problem, is it, Rach? Great, I'll get you a key. Oh, uh, Mike, could you pick Josh up from school this afternoon? Only I really need to be here. Yeah, yeah, fine. Brilliant. Have you seen old Steve yet? No, I haven't. Have you tried home again? It's not there. Well, did you try Tim's place? Of course I did. Look, what's this about? It's between me and Steve. Is it about Diane and me dad? No. Are you sure? I just said, didn't I? Well, look, I'm not a little kid anymore, so if it is about them, you can just tell me instead of running off to our Steve. It's got nothing to do with them. I've left all kinds of messages on his phone. What's the matter with him? You tell him it's urgent, right? There you go. 40 notes apiece. Nice one. 40 quid. I'm gonna have to do better than that for him his birthday, aren't I? It's peanuts. I don't wanna do it. Got a credit card? Oh, yeah. An ex-jailbird who deals in cash. I need this to ring a lot more. 
Mm. It's something big. Man hasn't rung all day. Oh, you prat, when you look at that, it's not even switched on. We've got loads of voicemail. Yeah? Sorry to bother you. I knocked next door, but there's nobody in. I'm looking for Stephen Murray. Oh, aye. Go for a bit of home servicing, have you? I'm sorry, I... There's no need to explain. I know what Steve's like with his older women. And 40-somethings? Not a problem. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm his mother, actually. His mother? Do you know where he is, or are you getting off on something? I, uh, He's with me. I'll just go and get him. His mother? That's what I said. I've got about 90 messages from our Christie. He's wetting himself. You can give that. Your mum's outside. What? What's she doing back? She's not back to like, not Diane, you dozy melt. Your real mum? Hello, Stephen. Are you going to say anything? I know it's a bit of a shock, but... I've got nothing to say to you. Get lost! She's already been, hasn't she? Jan. Just because you've fallen out with your man, don't take it out on me. She just wants to know everything's all right. I mean, it's only natural if she thinks you're in any kind of danger. Josh, leave me alone! Stubborn. What? Six across. Stubborn. That's Wednesday at 8 with the Omnibus tomorrow at midday here on 4. Up next, Rachel's lie is as big as her fat tummy in Friends. Any wild party gets out the back door. Oh, all in one piece. I expected to see half the youth of Manor Park strewn around the place. Uh, just me, Ada Delstein and Loras. Oh, hopefully she can't get up to much there. Mm. Late night, love. You look tired. No, I couldn't sleep. Warm milk puts me out like a light. Uh, I've got to go to the shop for a few bits and pieces. Is there anything you want? Uh, no, I'll be all right. Extra pint of milk make you sleep tonight? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll pop back later, love. Bye. Thanks. Can you put some jam on that toast if there is any rage? Are you going to see me play football today? I don't think I can. I'm working. Oh, don't be mean. You're not even talking to your dad, so you can hardly rollick you for missing an hour, can he? Please. OK, but I'm not going to be able to stay for long. Yes. We're going to win the cup. We're gonna win the call. Josh! Go and play in the corridor, son. Yeah, I'll sort that, Mitch. Oh, I'm sorry about that. He's just excited cos his dad's here. It'll be really good for him to have Mike around for a while. Well, I don't know how long we're gonna be staying for, you know. Oh, but, I mean, you can stay as long as you like. It'll be really good for us all, won't it, you being here? I mean, I can babysit Beth for you if you want to go out. And, well, it'd be really handy for me to have someone around of a night to look after Josh if I've got something on. We're really grateful to you for putting up with us, but we'll be finding a place of our own as soon as we can. And we will give you some money for our keep. Forget what I said about charging you. Your family, aren't you? Just chip in for shopping and we'll be all square. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, while you're here, it'll be good for us to help each other out. 
Oh, no. What's he done now? Oh, he's just getting a little bit carried away with his ball in the corridor. I nearly had one of the windows through. Sorry. He's just getting excited. He's got his football tournament this afternoon. Right, you. Go and put your stuff in your bag. Well, do you fancy a fresh cup of tea while you're here? Yeah, I wouldn't mind, actually. I was just pushing off to an appointment, but they've just rang and cancelled. A few hours off, then? Yeah, well, I'm sure I'll find some catching up to do. Well, why don't you come and watch Josh play football? He'd be made up. I don't think footy's got to be seen somehow. I like football. Well, come and support Josh, then. Yeah, OK, then. Great. So you can't cover for me tonight, then? No, all right, thanks, anyway. Bye. Well, I've tried everyone, so it looks like I'm working tonight, whether I like it or not. Mm-hmm. What a breach. You can babysit. Well, you're always welcome to look after them. Well, I'd love to, but I've got this school governor's working party, so... Um... <sighs> I knew him for Marty Murray, is he? Mm. Well, hardly, but uh, it'll probably drag on. Do you think they'll give him his job back? Well, they will if Gabby's got anything to do with it. And will you support her? <sighs> Can we really let a suspect in the missing child case back into that school? Yeah, but persecuting an innocent man just isn't fair. Uh, now you're sounding like Gabby. <laughs> mm. See you later. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, hello. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Hey, yeah. Uh, are the kids upstairs? Yeah, they're playing. I'll leave Beth in a stroller. She's flat out. She didn't sleep very well last night. Missed her own bed. Why, where have you been? Oh, see, so I haven't talked to your dad yet then. No, what happened? We've moved out. We're staying at Bev's till we find a place of our own. Well, what about me dad? Oh, never mind that we're homeless. It's because he's unbearable. You're more worried about he's going to wait on him and and fall. Look, I know what he can be like, but I just don't like the thoughts from spending any time on his own, not in his condition. Yeah, well, he should think about that when he's treating people like skivvies. Anyway, he'll be all right. He's got Bridget running round after him. What's it like in Bev's, then? Oh, Josh, he's driving us up the wall. Isn't it a bit cramped, Rach? Yeah, not half. Well, look, you know, if you fancy a break tonight, you can always come round here, you know. Is Max going out? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll bring a bottle of wine round if you want. Well, actually, Rach, I'm supposed to be working. Right. Do you want me to babysit? Only if you can. I'll let you know later. <laughs> you meth. What's up? Look at the mess. So? And he's used to last the bed for him. All right. I hate this place. I hate living here. It's always a pig site and we've got no privacy. Hey, you know we'd move if I could afford it. And anyway, Nicky and Jerome might get a place of their own once they're married. Yeah, if they get married. What's that meant to mean? Well, they're hardly the world's most stable couple, are they? So? And all that stuff with Nicky and Jimmy, it's just weird. Well, it's all over now. And there was nothing in it. Nothing in it? Well, how come they're sending each other emails every two minutes? Loads of people do it. Oh, not when they're on holiday in America. Well, he's probably just letting her know I was getting on over there. No, there's more to it than that. I know there is. I'm going to wait. See you later. No need to be nervous, we love. We're all... Don't we leave. They didn't have your usual loaf, so I got you a slice Danish. Why don't you turn the telly on instead of sitting there? I'm not watching that garbage. I'll read me book or something. <sighs> Do you want me to go and get it? Uh, I can't walk, you know. <sighs> I don't know why I bother. No, neither do I. Listen, just because you've fallen out with your mic, don't take it out on me. I'm not taking it out on anybody. Then don't treat me like a servant. No wonder your Michael and Rachel left if they had to put up with you all the time. Good luck, Josh. Hey, and you be careful. Some of those kids get carried away. Do your best, Josh. Yeah, score lots of goals. Well, he's more of a defensive midfielder, actually. You know, like Steven Gerrard or Ray Keane. Roy Keane. So, Gerrard managed eight goals last season and Keane got seven. I had them both in my fantasy league team. Oh, he tried really hard with these training sessions this week, you know. He's made up, they've made him captain. Do you know, i disappointed if they hadn't. Oh, Josh, you drink! He probably would have caused more than if he hadn't. Emily keeps on going on about her birthday. Well, what to get her and how are we going to celebrate? I'm going to think of something quick. Tell me what. You got a lead? Get stuck in. Yeah. You heard any more from me? My mummy. Don't know that I will after the sense of packing. You would have a right to tell her to do one, you know. Was I, though? Even after what she did, it seemed weird turning away like that. Until yesterday, these were all we had left of her. A few old photos in the way at the back of the wardrobe. And suddenly, there she is, standing on the step. It's gonna do your head in for a bit, you know. <laughs> You're not kidding. Come on, Josh, get stuck in! It's really good, isn't it? Of course. Confident on the ball, lots of poise. 
Yeah, his distribution's really good. He's got a good little engine on him too. Go on, Josh, lad. Yeah, well, it'd be even better if a certain someone took a little bit of interest in him. You know, like take him to the park for a kickabout every now and then. Oh, come on! Pass it to Josh Mack, will you, you useless... Now she's saying she wants a birthday somewhere classy. A magazine to read and wear. I want a lot to answer for. Hey, if it's here, I don't want to speak to her, right? All right, Tim. Steve got your work as a butler now, has he? Dead funny. I'm gonna go and press up that removal job. Call you in a bit, yeah? Hey! I've been trying to contact you. Yeah. She's already been, hasn't she? Jan! How do you know? She tried to contact me through work. Said she wanted your address. And you gave it to her? Oh, no, of course I didn't. I said I'd have to check with your dad. Then she said she'd try and get it somewhere else, but I didn't think she'd have the bottle to turn up, even if she did get it. Well, she did. And? I told her to beat her. Ben, I've got a shoot off. I've got two big loads to pick up. Okay. Good luck, Josh. See ya. You think he could hang around till the end? Oh, Josh looks gutted. Oh, I'm sure he'll understand. Come on, Josh, get it. Oh, that is not a foul. He got the ball. Yeah, he got the other player's ankles as well. Put your lenses in, ref. So why now, after all these years? She hasn't called or sent a letter since the day she left us. The police wanted to talk to her about your dad. So make sure he hadn't buried there in the garden. No, they wanted to talk to her about how your arm was broken when you were a kid. All right. I suppose they wanted to make sure that his story matched with hers, but anyway, they didn't tell her any more than she needed to know, so now she wants to know that you're okay. Oh, so she had to wait till the year that we could be living with a charm murderer before she finally decides to get in touch. She just wants to know everything's all right. I mean, it's only natural if she thinks you're in any kind of danger. I mean, especially our aunt, he's still a kid. A kid she doesn't even know. He was just a baby when she left. She didn't worry about us then, did she? Look, whatever she did, you're still her kids. So what, now she just comes back to claim us? But she seems genuinely concerned about you. I don't care. She's not coming anywhere near Aunt Adele. Well, maybe she won't now. Look, I've got a delivery to make. Let me know if you hear anything. And listen, don't... don't think too badly of her. This is hard on her as well, you know. Pass the ball to Josh, will ya? Put him through! Can't you do something about this? You can't send him off! Josh! Leave me alone! <laughs> Chicken roll again. I'll start cooking soon. Just get it eaten. Oh, hi, Michael. Hi, Blake. You're not going to ask your son how your business is faring? And I take it you're not going to inquire after your father's health. Is he OK? I really thought he'd behave himself today. He just got a bit worked up this morning. Yeah, but he always does, doesn't he? He's just getting worse. I'm going to have to get going. I've got a few things to sort out for the governor's meeting. Yeah, good luck. Mm. Marty Murray is no murderer. I hope you give him his job back. Yeah, well, he'd be reinstated if it was up to me. Are you sure you don't want dropping off? I'm fine. OK, bye. Hi, hey, Rich. Everything OK? Yeah, I've just been tidying Emma's room. No doubt it'll be a mess when I go back up. Um, well, have you had a chance to think about tonight? Yeah, I'll babysit for you. Oh, Rach, thanks. It's got to be worth me while. All right, well, I will be paying you. Yeah, well, I want a rise as well. When I first started doing this job, I was just looking after the kids. Now I'm a nanny, a maid, all round skivvy, you name it. Well, I don't mind as long as I'm properly paid for it. If you went to an agency to give them a list of what I'm doing, you'd be paying out three times what I'm getting. All right, Rach, well, I'll, I'll sort of pay a rise for you. Yeah, well, things are going to be tighter for me and Mike now without your dad's. So I've got to make sure I earn what I deserve. Yeah, sure. I'll go and check on kids. Right, well, this meeting, it may drag on, so I don't know what time I'll be back. Yeah, OK. What's up? I'll just have 
just have words with Rachel, eh? Oh, right, yeah. You uh, explain the situation to her. Oh, yeah, so what's up? Well, what was the other way around? She's just a man to the pay rise. You're supposed to be letting her go. Max, we can just about keep on top of things. How can I sack her? Oh, great. Now we're paying her even more money. And meanwhile, the children not getting any preschool preparation, just TV and videos. Can't go on. Six across. Con... Con... Constimatious? Constimatious or obstinate? Eight letters. Pig-headed. Too many letters. No, you. You're pig-headed. This business with you and your Michael can't go on. Mind you, he's just as bad as you are. I didn't ask him to leave. No, I know, but you have been hard on him. Couldn't you at least let him know you're sorry? No chance. Do you want a hand? I'm going to the bog, if you don't mind. And you're wasting your time trying to get me to apologise to our Michael because I've got nothing to apologise for. Stubborn. What? Six across. Stubborn. I don't know why you bother with him, you know. Neither do I sometimes. That's you tomorrow. Mike, wait. Isn't there any way you can sort this out with your dad? It's not good for his health, you know. Yeah, and living here isn't good for mine. I'm not having me and Rachel being treated as a pair of unpaid skivvies for that miserable owl. I'll see you later. I miss me. No, we're just uh, going over the candidates for the new chair. I hope nobody's proposed me, have they? Well, I haven't. I like you. Thanks. OK, now Max is here, we can discuss Marty Murray's suspension. I, I'm sorry I'm late. I'd like to say a few things before we take a vote. Um, the reality of this issue is that even if we make a decision on reinstating Marty, he probably wouldn't be able to return to work for some time anyway. As you're probably all aware, He's still recovering from a vicious attack sustained a few weeks ago. Now, bearing that in mind, I still think that we should lift this suspension. If only as a gesture of support to a man who has clearly been a victim of these tragic events, rather than anything more sinister. Josh, you can sulk in your room for as long as you want, but eventually you are going to have to come downstairs and explain yourself. If you think you are going to get away with today's performance, you've got another thing coming. There's no way you can get away with behaving like that. Look, I know it wasn't your fault you got sent off, but I felt ashamed the way you behaved afterwards. Josh? Oh, right. Ready to explain yourself, are you? Your fault I got sent off. Right, so how'd you work that one out? If you were to take me to all the practices, they would have passed me more. I took you to as many as I could. I've got to work to pay for those football sessions, you know, and do you think they're free? No one else missed any practices. Oh, it's always no one and everyone with you, isn't it, eh? No one else wears those trainees and everyone else gets to buy the away kit. Well, I'm sorry, Josh, but things are different for us. I'm on my own here and... It's not as easy for me to take you wherever you want or give you whatever you want as it is other kids' mums and dads. And the sooner you learn that, the better. Oh. All right, love, you're going up the road. I might later. I'm just going to check on my house, see how the work's getting on. Should be finished soon. So it won't be long before you move back in, then? No. The sooner the better, I'm sure you'll agree. Jan came round our place at dinner time. Oh, really? She still wants to see you. What's she like? Desperate. So what did she have to say this time? She just wants the chance to talk to you properly. Oh, to ask me how school went. Wish me ten happy birthdays, give me all my Christmas presents. Look, she seems genuinely sorry. So why not just leave us alone? Because she wants you to hear her side of the story. Well, I suppose nervous and she doesn't run off and leave the kids behind, eh? Look, I don't know. She didn't go into it. She just wants you to hear it from herself, then she'll leave you alone. He got sent off for kicking his own player. They wouldn't pass to him. Something's got to be done about him. He's out of control. Yeah, well, you don't need to tell me that. What's up? Josh is being caused a murder again. Well, I've had enough of him already. At least I won't have to put up with him tonight. How come? Jackie wants me to babysit. Richard, don't you think you're doing enough for her? Oh, I said I wouldn't do it at first. Then I made a promise to give me her eyes. Oh, good for you. Oh, I'm sick of being a skivvy for your family. That includes you. 
Oh, that's not fair. Maybe, but it's true. I heard it go with your dad. Oh, well, Bridget was trying to get us to work things out, but there's no chance. So we're stuck here, then? Not for long. Marty isn't even a police suspect, so I don't see why we couldn't have at least offered him the chance to come back to work. We lost the phone. There's nothing else we can do. But they're acting on hunches and rumour. There is no evidence linking him to Imelda going missing. All well, they're preoccupied with is getting home rather than what happens to the poor guy. We tried your hardest. They didn't want to know. It's not the welfare of the kids they're bothered about, or Marty. It's the fear of making the wrong decision. I bet if you asked them all individually, they'd all say they think he's innocent. Well, there's nothing we can do about that now. I don't know about you, but I could do with a drink after all, then. Oh, yeah, several large ones. Come on, then. Oh, can't say I'm looking forward to facing Marty. Me neither. Hey, lad. Nice one, kid. Uh... Oh, I've been doing this garden clearance. My back's in bulk again. That's what people get out of the garden. I saw a back, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Me and then we're gonna have our own gardener. We move into our first house. Well, in. So, um, are you and Nicky, um, moving out or planning to stay after you get married? The sooner we get out of here, mate, the better. I know Jimmy's got Helen and everything now, but I still think he's got something for Nicky, no matter what either of them say. Yeah, you're probably best getting out of here. So you think there's something going on, too? No, I mean... You know, like you said, the sooner you get out of here, the better. Do you know something you're not telling me? No. Tim. It's nothing. It must be something for you to be acting so suspicious. Emily said that well, Nicky and Jimmy have been emailing each other a lot. I mean, there's probably nothing to it, but... Something's going on. What are you doing? I'm going to look in the inbox. Yeah, you can't do that. Watch me. It looks like Jimmy spent more of this time emailing Nicky than he has sunbathing. Come on, then, let's see what he's saying. Are you sure you should be reading this? What do you expect me to do? Just ignore it? I mean, she's obviously desperate to torture you. Otherwise, she wouldn't have gone to all this trouble to try and find you. Well, she shouldn't have cut us off in the first place. She should have kept in touch. You know, loads of women get divorced, but they still manage to be mothers. Well, the only way to get the answers is to meet her. Last time I saw her before yesterday, I was a kid. I can only just about remember what she looks like. I don't know if I can face her again, not after all this time. Well, it's up to you. But I don't think she's going to go away. You've got to make your mind up whether you want to meet her or not. I'll speak to you in the flesh when I get back, OK, love? Bye. Miss you loads. Not only are they writing to each other all the time, now he's sending her voice messages as well. Yeah, but don't they get anything dodgy's going on? I mean, look at the age of Jimmy. He could be a granddad. Hiya. What are you two doing? Uh, nothing, really. Just uh, checking for stuff on the net, isn't it? Not looking at dirty porn. Say toys. Oh, of course not. Jay's um, just helping me look at ideas for a birthday present for you on the net. Ah, so what are you getting me? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? OK, then. I'll leave you to it. What? You're going to get caught, you know. I don't care. You're blowing this all up, Jay. So you're trying to tell me that you'd be happy if Emily was swapping all this kind of stuff with another fella? Yeah, but Nicky and Jimmy are close. Yeah, too close. Yeah, but I don't think anything like that's going on. Don't you? Well, I'm going to find out what is going on. How? Oh. I'll think of something. It's OK, it's OK. I don't want to know what my prezzy is. Well, then stay out. Come on, get a clue. No. Is it jewellery? Em? Oh, Tim, you're that romantic. Oh, come on, will ya? Well, at least give me one clue. No. Look, I don't know what all this secrecy stuff's for. I'm going to find out what it is anyway. Well, you're just going to have to wait. Otherwise, you really regret it. What do you think I should do? Well, not knowing what you had to say will always play in your mind. I'm scared. Can you believe that? Yeah, of course. I mean, all these years I've convinced myself that she was dead. Otherwise, why wouldn't she have been in touch? And suddenly, out of the blue, there she is. And all this time, she's just been getting on with her life, not even knowing how we were. Could she? Well, you'd have to ask her. And now you can. Do we really want to know the answers, though? Yeah, but can you live without knowing them? That look all mad. Maybe. Come on, you can't blame me for hitting it out. He still hasn't forgiven me for going behind his back over the cloughs. Well, maybe you shouldn't tell him then. I mean, that is if you're gonna meet up with her. I'd feel like I was betraying everyone, me dad die. The moment she decided to get in touch, it was inevitable everyone was gonna get hurt, including Jan. 
this isn't going to be easy on anyone. But at least then it's going to be out the way, not hanging over your heads like it has been for the last ten years. Look, she left me this number. I've got to contact her if you decide to meet her. <sighs> OK, I'll hear it out. But anywhere but here, if you're sure. All she wants me to do is meet her, let her have a say, and that's it. Whatever you insist on Jimmy as your father figure, then the best my choice is mine, all right? Slacking your drawers, Jackie. I'm just enjoying myself. Why did you break me arm? Why did you batter me dad? I was frustrated. It's no excuse. The bed have risen. <laughs> that's tomorrow's Brookie at the same time. Next on for how to turn a nondescript back garden into something really special. It's all in the planning and design. From house to home, coming up. Talk to her. I promised our Christy I would. You must be mad. Wow, cool! So is she gonna come here? No way. Had a dad staying at a mate this week, but she's still working out in the corner. Don't want her walking in on us. You gonna go to hers? Neutral ground, pub in town, Christy's idea. That bled shouldn't have let her anywhere near you. Look, leave it to me, eh? And you got your own problems with Emily's birthday. All she wants me to do is meet her, let her have a say, and that's it. End of story. Oh, give us a go. Hang on. Oh, let's give us a go, please. Yeah, all right, in a minute. Knock me off. Look, watch this. Oh, look, look. keep it straight. Look, crash it. What's oh, this? The man of the wrong thing. It's a uh, to do toy. Fab, isn't it? Mm. Not to 60 in 8.5 seconds. Oh, I'm impressed. Hang on, Josh. Hey, he's in a better mood than yesterday. Mm, just. He ended up getting a rollicking from the tournament organiser. Of course, he's worked it out that it's my fault that he got a red card. How? Because okay. the wicked witch of the West, yours truly, oh, will so let him stay behind after school to practice football. Can I have one for Christmas? Um, maybe Lance will build you one. If you're a really good boy. Oh, I wish he had a proper dad. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. What are you doing? Just checking the RSVPs for the wedding. Hardly anyone's got back to us yet. Yeah, but no one's going to reply by email, surely. They have property invites. You never know. You going into uni? Later, yeah. You all right? Yeah. Just seem a little worried, that's all. No, I just, I just wish people would get back in touch. Yeah, well, there's loads of time, eh? Yeah, well, I'd just feel a bit more settled if people would reply. I think I'll aim um, and get a bath. Mm -hmm. Hi, Irvan. Yeah, he's just here and gone. I'll see you soon. Bye. Cheers. Hi, Ma. What can I do for you? You can't make it, but why not? So what are you going to do today? I don't know. Chill out. Nothing, then. <laughs> I ordered some flowers from Mr Hilton for you. Yeah, I didn't get my change, though, did I? What about you? I'll just try and do something useful. How big is he? Well, how many does he sleep? Brilliant. Someone said his family's minted. Even more brilliant. Bag ladies back. Friday night? Yep. Speak to you later. I heard that. <sighs> Thought so. I could cushion to at least 25% there. On my face. He's got a high BQ, a mega BQ. I don't know what you're laughing about. You've got a face like a Napoli pizza with extra buckles. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wondering whether to list you as a missing person. I've been away a few days. You're never here. I wonder why that is, Mum. Read my lips. I've got nowhere to sleep. 
need a decent shower. Any chance of some breakfast? Uh, I was just checking uh, a website, you know, for me, I see. <laughs> what do you want one you for before? Oh, oh, yeah, it was just about my cousin Rio. Can't make it as my best man. What are you going to do then? I don't know. I've got three weeks. You could always ask Tim. He's hardly my best mate, though, is he? Well, you're Leo, then? I can't see him showing his face around here. I don't even reckon he's going to make it for the wedding. You could always ask Ray. Is that a joke? There must be someone. <laughs> it's a pity Jimmy Cork. It was fully booked, eh? You could stop his medication. Imagine the best man's speech. It's not funny. Who are you going to ask him? I'll find someone. But if you insist on Jimmy as your father figure, then the best man choice is mine, all right? Do you know what? I'm sick of spending every week a minute in this place. Well, me and Nisha are going out tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Can you get away? I wish. Well, not unless Bev changes her mind, we'll do nights. But I know what you're doing, Bob. But we're coming here after work. You could share a bottle of wine with us and see what happens later. Well, we'll see, eh? Oh, come on. You can manage that, at least. Yeah, I can. Why not? We could even make it two bottles. Three of it's on the house. <laughs> see ya. See you later. Oh, I cannot be bothered tidying up. I don't know what possessed me to ask Mike and Rachel to stay. It's twice the housework. Yeah, well, I've got the take free. I'll, I'll give it hands. Oh, I'd sooner kept him amused. Do you know what? I could really do it with a night off, Josh. You know, just a few cocktails and a decent night's kip. Well, get Mike and Rachel to babysit on the cocktails are on me. No, I can't. Why not? You're putting them up, aren't you? It's the least they can do. Right, Milado, let's go to the park and see what that motor can do. Yes! Ask Mike. I'll try. Never mind, try. I'm buying you a drink tonight. No arguments. <laughs> Who invented half term? Can never get anything done. Perfect. Cheers, Mum. <clears throat> I've got to go to work soon. Do you mind keeping an eye on those two for me? I can't. Going to Lissy's. Again? I don't like sharing with our Luke. Why can't Ruth and Danny boy get a flat? I can't afford it at the moment. Well, anyway, I'm going to Wales for a few days. I thought you were looking for a job. I still am. I've got to go. Right, that's it. What? What are you doing? What's going on? We're solving the accommodation problems in this place. Oh, we can have the garage just for the two of us. Yep, we're going to knock through here a new doorway. Yes. It's only breeze blocks. Get a hammer. I'll get through this in no time. Nope, your dad'll see to it. That means it'll never happen. No, not this time. I'm not having my daughter forced out of her home because there's no room. This job's a priority. Thanks for coming. The pub don't look too bad. Change my mind about the pub if you want to tell me something serious. It's not very personal, is it? Can't you at least get inside your van? How you've got the nerve to clean I up the floor. After everything you've done. I don't know what your dad's been I wasn't saying. that young when you were around. I do remember things like me broken arm, for instance. Yeah, there's things I regret, yeah, but shouldn't you hear my side of the story? Just say what you've got to say. I've thought a lot about this. Look, you've come here. So are you going to listen or not? Get on with it. from the Gordons. Why do they think you're dead? I, uh... I told you to get shot of that. Uh, what, out the house? Out of our lives. What are you doing? Well, I just thought I'd finish it off, you know, look how it's taking two coats of varnish. Give me strength. Get rid of it. Between Tim's stupid joke and that coffin, it's no wonder people think you've died. They can have these back. I'll sell it, then. We've got more important things to think about. rita has been on from Benidorm. She wants to know if we're going over there. Oh. Well? Well, the house is not finished. And the garden's in a mess. And there's Nicky's wedding. And then, well, well, Christmas is near as well. And you're messing about with a stupid flipping coffin. I want to go. We can nip back for the wedding. And if you want to make yourself useful, you can clear up that mess your mate Jimmy left in our back garden. You 
came back as you're worried. Your dad was being interviewed about a missing girl. I know Marty would never do anything like what the police might be suggesting, but yeah, I was worried about all of you. You walked out on us just like that. How can you turn around now and say you're worried? Anthony's only 12. Your dad could go to jail. There's no evidence against them. They dug the back garden up and found nothing. There's no reason for you to be here. Look, I know you're upset. No, angry. We haven't spoken to each other for 10 years. Just listen. You tell me why you knocked us about, why you battered with Dad. You shut your me on! You left it all to you me! You know I was pregnant with you and me and your dad got married. Obviously not. Looking back, it might have been better if we hadn't got married. We were only 21. Going out was fine, but then suddenly a life of responsibility. We weren't getting on, not at all. Then after you were born, I got postnatal depression. You heard of that? I can't describe to you what it was like. It was horrible. But your dad didn't care, as long as I had his mates and it's football. He shut me out. He didn't even try to understand. I know now that we never really loved each other. But I tried. After the depression lifted. But he carried on just the same. Staying out drinking and playing football. It was so hard for me. I know now, I do understand it. It was just that we were so young, brought up to make the best of things. These days, people just go out and get a divorce. But that was never even discussed. All that guilt and shame about divorce. We might have been lapsed Catholics, but it was all still there. We carried on. It's a miracle we had our Adele, really. All that side of things, it just happened. Not often, but enough. As soon as I got pregnant, I was terrified. Scared stiff. The depression would come back. Scared stiff your dad would leave me with two young ones. Didn't happen. No depression. Adele was a good baby. But your dad carried on just the same. Working all week. Drinking and playing Your football. Dad even like that. Not now, perhaps, but he was then. Oh yeah. And you had an affair with another fella. He caught you with him. How come you haven't mentioned that? How, how come it's all my dad's fault? Have you got any idea what it's like to be lonely? Two young children and a husband who's never there. And when he is, he doesn't want to be. It went on for years and years. Yeah, I had an affair with someone who was in a lousy marriage My dad's as well. best mate, Vinnie Carter. He was interested in me. There was passion between us for the first time in my life. Your dad caught you with him in his own bed. Vinny was with your dad the first time I met him in the old Allinson's club. Perhaps I should have married him. Maybe thought I would if I hadn't been pregnant with you. I was lonely. Your dad couldn't see it. He was too selfish to care about me. That's why eventually I went with Vinny. But I never went with him again, not after that. We both agreed to have our Anthony. Just to try and stick things together again. But the depression came. It was awful. I couldn't cope with you all. God love you, you tried to help as well, young as you were. Then why did you break me on? You remember? Come away! I was so ashamed. Your dad wasn't interested. He got worse and worse. Why did you break me arm? Why did you batter me dad? I was frustrated. That's no excuse. I didn't mean to hurt you. It was an accident. You don't know what it was like. Three kids and a husband who didn't love me. Someone who ignored me when he wasn't checking up on me because of Vinny. I tried and tried to be a good mother, but your dad carried on ignoring me. I hit him. I hit him loads of times because he didn't love me. And I hit you. You even walked in when I was shaking our hands to me. It took me months and months to realise I had a problem. I had to leave you. For your sake. For Adele and for the baby.
Wat? De bed of zo. Wat? Je praat. Het is allemaal mijn daddy's snuff day. You're gonna get it in the neck now. You saw them carrying the coffin out. You jumped conclusions. Yes, so did you. But why has he got a coffin if nobody's dead? I thought you'd come back. I used to think about it all the time when I was little. Your dad wouldn't let me. I know why, I understand. I was a bad mother, I hit you. I, I didn't look after you properly. Obviously, you didn't want me anywhere near you. But I sent you all Christmas cards and birthday cards and money. Don't you remember? You gave us nothing. I did. Cross me heart, I did. I'm thick, I remember. You gave us nothing. Believe me, Steve, I sent you all cards and that for years, but I never got a reply. I gave up. He must have thrown them away, burnt them. How could he do that? I like that you got to ask you battered us, that's why. I still loved you all. I was wrong for you, that's what it was. How could he ignore the stuff? How could he do that to little kids? Not little kids anymore. I haven't even asked about Adele and Anthony. Oh, you remember you've got three? Yeah. They're fine. We're doing all right at school. I right? said fine. I've got to go, is that it? Do you believe me? Do you? It doesn't matter whether I believe you or not. I don't want to see her again. OK. I'd like to see Adele and Anthony. Stay away from them. Stay away from all of us. We don't need you. Get out. Just go. You've had to say, get out. Oh, clear. Yeah. Are you really gonna lick it? No. We are. I want to know what he's doing with the coffin. I mean, he was a terrible years ago. <laughs> Were they into Satanism or what? Satanism? Devil worship? You never know. Go ahead. I've been all around town, I've been to the outlet village, I haven't got a clue what to get her. I haven't got anything sorted, and she wants a surprise. Stop panicking, will ya? Get a decent prezzy, and then take to that restaurant in the docks, the one where all the fussy players go to. Yeah, I've got about enough for a prezzy. Just get her that, then. Forget anything flash. No, do you know what? I reckon she'd prefer no prezzy and a big posh night out. She missed out on a graduation too, didn't she? Make up for that. You wanna listen to town, Jay? Sound? See you later. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Now, what can we do with this? <laughs> I don't know how you got the idea. What the hell did I think you'll find my husband's fitting well, thank you. Just thought I'd tell you. Stuart! Ali! Don't think we should even mention men. Oh, just because yours has gone missing somewhere between Widness and IB. <laughs> well, how about you? Is there anyone? Do you keep a dead low profile at the moment, this one? Keeping my options open. And? Lock up your husband's and eat your batteries on the prowl. <laughs> hey, will you just leave mine out, please? Oh, no offence, Jackie. Very attractive, but just a teeny bit too old for me. Just a teeny bit too old for me, too, as well, sometimes. Oh, why? Well, not what you're thinking, you dirty me. Now, what it is, I'll put a DVD on about 10 o'clock and then he starts. Oh, I'll probably fall asleep. I've got work in the morning. Haven't you found ways of keeping him awake yet? And he works a few nights a week. <laughs> I thought I might find you lot in here. Let it out, Azzy. Oh, I escaped. He's gone to some dinner. I eat all male booze up. He won't be back till at least one. What, so you and Gaz aren't making babies tonight? <laughs> oh, you lot won't let me forget that in a hurry, will you? Right, I'll get us another one. Oh, right. well, better catch up. We're at least three drinks behind us. Oh, cheers, guys. Hey, Jackie was telling us about your meeting with the school governors, you know, sticking up for Diane's fella, nice one. Yeah, poor guy. Beaten up, suspended, not a shred of evidence. I know, exactly what I thought. They're treating him like he's a pervert. It's not right. You didn't manage to get him after suspension? Well, I tried. Oh, I told you we should have stayed at the Pacific Store. No way was I carrying you back from there. And anyway, they've never even heard of cocktails. What do you want, Cardi and Camp? No, I want a cocktail. I want a, uh, a long, slow, slippery, whatever they're called. Maybe you insist. Cod over there. Pip, what are you doing bringing chips in here? Bring me a snack. Yeah, well, you know the policy. Leanne isn't running the place anymore. Slack in your drawers, Jackie. I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah, well, you'll have to leave them over there, and I don't want everyone thinking they can bring chips in. And anyway, I thought you couldn't come out tonight because of Josh. Well, everyone deserves some time off. Make him make your babysitting for you. Yeah. 
Well, now that you've got built-in babysitters, perhaps you can do a few more hours in here of a night, you know, to give me a break. Jackie, this is a one-off. I'm not working nights anymore. Mike and Rach aren't going to stay forever, are they? I'm sorry, but I've got to be there for Josh. Right. Oh, do you know what? She's putting all kinds of pressure on me. Just because I'm out, I'm not having it. I've got to be there for Joshy. Oh, come on, let's get a seat. Hey, Max was telling me about your big speech last night. I'm sorry, he didn't win. I was just saying, she's brilliant standing up to all these old fogies. Not Max, of course. Yes. Hey, he's a bit of an epic meeting, wasn't he? Max didn't get in till dead late. You there? Uh, not using that computer, are you? Um, I was going to, yeah. Only I was uh, going to email Jack. I've had two knockbacks for best man. Jack, we met in France. Well, you like him, don't you? Yeah, go for it. Um, you won't be long, though, will you? No. Why? Um, I just found this website address, you know, and wedding favours. So, I thought I'd look it up. <laughs> right. Five hours behind, so... What was that? Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Oh, we should be in town, not here. I know, yeah, it was up for it. Oh, not me, sorry, guys. Are you coming, Jack? Well, I'm in here again in the morning. Oh, devil sort, eh? Oh, yeah, and she's over there, so gone as it is. What's she gonna be like in the morning? Oh, I thought you said your old man was out till late last night, tit for tat and all that. Oh, she's a poet, isn't she? Eh, less of the old, is your wine. Oh, come on, Jack, I could dance with you the whale to good. Oh, I don't know. Do you want another one? No, I don't want a late night. Not letting Jackie fall and get one up on me. I don't want this. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, we dance for an hour, one drink, then home. Come oh, on, you haven't been out in ages. Oh, I know what, Max has got the kids, so he's gonna expect me home. And what do you think about you? Yeah. Well, then ring him and tell him what you're doing. Eh, no. <laughs> it's not gonna be all night, it'll end in just an hour or two. Are you up for it? Oh, do you know what? I've got meetings at nine in the morning, I'm tired. Oh, you're not past it, are you? <laughs> Sorry. Right then. You ready? Oh, yes. Why not? Cheers. 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 <laughs> All right. How did it go? You know what you want, then? No, I just told her to butt out and never come back. Not to come anywhere near us. It's the best thing, mate. Yeah, maybe. See you later. Yeah, you don't fancy a pint, do you? Just going down the swan for a stay behind. Oh, no, count me out. Still got loads of things to sort out. Emily's birthday, in there. Suit yourself. Jackie Farnham will never forgive you for sticking chip wrappers in it. Oh, that's a box. Shh, everyone's asleep. Hiya. What are you doing? I wanted to see you and Lance. Oh, you should be asleep. Do you want a coffee? What a song. Oh, yes, please, Josh. Hey, right, uh, do you want to stay the night? <gasps> Josh, do you want Uncle Lance to stay the night? Can we play with the card in the morning? Yeah, of course we can. Sand. Do you want some cream in it? Oh, what a treasure. Listen, babe, I am so sorry about the football. I should have let you stay behind after school to practice, but I was working nights then, wasn't I? I won't be doing that again, ever. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to be there for you, after school and every night. It's how it should be, and I'm going to make sure it stays that way, even if I have to bunk in with Ron Dicko. Oh. oh worst case scenario. <laughs> hey, I feel better already. Could that be because you're drunk? I, I mean it, I do. Everything is going to be all right. I'm not going to be away half the night. I'm going to be a proper mum to you, OK? Mike? What? Close your legs. Oh, don't worry about me. Nothing I haven't seen before. You're not free and single anymore. You've got two children. And? Jackie, you've got responsibilities. I've been offered a job out in Hong Kong and they want me out there as soon as I can. Shift there. No, not until you talk to me. That's tomorrow's Brookside at 8.30 after Driven, which is at 8 o'clock. Beautifully tasty TV next tonight on 4. Forever Summer with Nigella is coming up.
What are you doing here? We need to talk. I said all I wanted to say yesterday. I didn't. Tough. Just give me five minutes. Just do one, will you? I whooped you. Champion. Champion. Yeah, well, Lara Croft wants a rematch as soon as she's finished making your brekkie. Morning. Hiya. Hey, you. Make your own. Hey, that reminds me. Uh, we need some shopping today, so what are we going to do about food? What do you mean? Well, are we going to have a kitty or are we just going to get our own and put it on separate shelves? Whatever. Well, I think we should have a kitty, you know, because separate shelves cause murder. I mean, everything starts off all right, but then you end up with your hands around someone's neck, accusing them of nicking the last of your spread your cheese. I'll sort you some money out later. Oh, uh, could one of you two do the shopping? Only I'm not going to get the time today. I can't, Bev. I've got to do loads of laundry for me, Dad. Mm, woman's work's never done, eh, Mike? Tell me about it. Rachel, you can do it, can't you? Ah, oh, is that whilst I'm looking after Beth, Harry and Emma? Would you also go with you, give you the hand? Oh, yeah, he loves whizzing about in those trolleys. And what do we need? Now, can you make sure the yoghurts are low fat? Get um, peach and passion fruit if you can, but um, if they don't have them, just get any. Oh, and they got some decent blades. I had to get a shave with one of them disposables last night. Oh, I use that on my legs. As long as it's only your legs. Uh, do you mind? I only wax me delicate bits. Hey, you! Tim, you didn't have to do all this. Mm, happy birthday. Oh, what? <laughs> Left the place on. Oh. oh, Tim, that's lovely. And I mean every word. Yeah. Remember, I said I was going to buy you a charm for every special occasion. And that's not all either. I'm taking you out as well. Where to? That's a surprise. But you better get your clad rags on. I thought I told you to clear it off. I told you we need to talk. Can't you take a hint? I'm not interested in you or what you've got to say. I'm not going till you talk to me. Then you're in for a very long wait. My man, you wake me. I tried. Where did you get to last night? I was going to town with the girls. Well, didn't you think to give me a call and let me know? Well, it was a last-minute thing, and by the time we decided to go, it was late, so oh. I didn't want to wake you. Oh, how very thoughtful of you. Well, if you had a phone, you'd have found that I was still up. Harry was up half the night with a cough. Oh, no? oh what you made for poor little thing? Well, I finally managed to get him off to sleep. You decided to crash through the door at 20 past three in the morning. Oh, I was up the time it was. And woke Emma up. Don't Look, and tell those girls that if they really want to sing Kylie Minogue's greatest hits at all hours, tell them not to do it right outside the house. Chuck it, it's not funny. Look, you wouldn't have it if the neighbours behaved the same way. Right. Just give it a rest. My head feels like someone's tap dancing on it. Yes, well, it serves you right. I know. I'll tell you what, they won't be doing that again in a hoodie. Ah. Well, make sure you don't. American actor, start of gone in 60 seconds. Oh, um. Oh, what's his name? Oh, he's in Thingy Me Bob with the one that um, Tom Cruise is seeing. Oh, good looking fella. Muscles. Nicholas Cage. That's the one. He's not good looking. Oh, are you kidding? He's gorgeous. You've got a weird taste in men, you bet. Tell me about it. Right. Three across, thrown at weddings. Punches. <laughs> <laughs> Confetti. Mike? What? Close your legs. Oh, don't worry about me. Nothing I haven't seen before. Go and put some clothes on. Why? I don't want you walking around like that. Like what? In your boxes. It's not right, not in front of Beth. She doesn't mind. Yeah, well, I do. Um, I was thinking maybe we could do something tonight. Yep. Go to the pictures? Yep. <laughs> What's the rush? I want to get to work. Why? I'm not used to that, Keen. Well, today's different. Why? Never you mind. <laughs> Go on. What's up? Nothing. You just give me a little fright then. Right. What are you doing? Just um, looking at a wedding site on the net. Oh. Nick! Yeah? Do us a favour, will you? We can sponge that down. It's got a little mark on. Oh. I'll like, finish off drying my nails. Of course, we'll go. Yeah. Oh, Tim's flipping. He said we're going to be late for whatever we're going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, Steve. You seen who's over there? Your mum? Ah, she's not my mum. She's been there all morning, says she wants us to talk. I told her to do one. Have I told you how I felt she should stand up? No. Well, don't you think you should? I mean, I know it would ruin his holiday, but well, if that was me, I'd want to know. Lock me to him. I'm going to have to get off. I'm sorry, but it sounds worth it. See you later. Catch you later. Come on! Uh, all right, all right. I haven't even had a chance to let my nails dry. You've had all morning to get ready? Don't start, Tim. Not on my birthday. Oh. That's why you said you're going to clean this. I have. It's been valeted. Oh, well, it'll be my mum to wipe my feet on the way out. Hang on. What are you doing with that? Making a blindfold. <laughs> Who for? Come here. No chance. Um, I wanted to be a surprise where we're going. Tim, no way. There's no way that's going near me. Look, it's either this or a bag of your head. Take your back. Oh. Come on, babe. Can you trust me? <sighs> Go on. Uh, Hurry up, we're going to be late. Have you seen my keys? Why don't you try the front door where I found them this morning? They're on the TV. Why did you get yourself in such a state? Oh, well, we were trying out all different cocktails, but purely for research purposes. Well, it's important, isn't it, to find out what the opposition's given the punters? Well, you should have stopped when you'd had enough. Oh, come on, you know what it's like when you're having a laugh. Oh, on second thoughts, maybe you don't. What are you doing going out with them for, anyway? Er, uh, because of my mates. You don't know they go out for a drink with them? Well, all the more reason to, eh? Well, why did you have to stay out so late? Listen, you can talk. What about you and Gabby the other night at the governor's thing? You were out late. No, I was Not that late. Anyway, that was different. That was work. And I wasn't out getting drunk and making a show of myself. Look, Max. The girls wanted to try out this new club in town, right? They asked me to go and I went, what is the big deal? You're not free and single anymore. You've got two children. And? Jackie, you've got responsibilities. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean Sarah can't let me hair down once in a while. Oh, no. What? I just had a flashback. Three of us dancing on this podium, shaking our stuff. I tell you what, there was a cracking club. You'd really like it, we should go. No, thanks. No, honestly, I really think you'd like it. You know, there's a real mixed age group in there, young and old people, so you wouldn't feel out of place. Josh, don't wander off. Give me an hand. You push Beth and be careful. Oh, come on, you two. Come on. Oh. Are we nearly there yet? Nearly. Oh, Tim, this is starting to do me head in. I'm going to do makeup again, you know. Just moaning, will ya? Hang on. Yeah, just a few more steps. This is starting to give me a headache. Here we go. I'm nearly there. Is that it? Yep. You can take it off now. <laughs> now you're missing your graduation. So I arranged for everyone to come back. Happy birthday, Em. Me too. Get off! Hey, Dick. You're not the only brain box in the family. <laughs> What's up with your face? She's qualified to give manicures and facials. It's hardly rocket science, is it? Hey, you. More people will be needing their skills than what you're studying for. Or me, for that matter. I was just saying. Well, don't. This is the best birthday ever. <laughs> How'd you manage to pull it off? Well... I just told the truth about your poor granddad Ray, yeah. who suffers from dementia. He climbed into a coffin, scared the life out of your man. You had a funny turn, and now you had to sacrifice the most important day of your life to look after him. And also, as well, your nan offered to donate 500 pounds to the college. Yeah? Yeah, and that kind of sealed the deal. I will never, ever forget this. You better not do. 
I put the trouble I've gone to. It's the most romantic thing that you've ever, ever done for me. Yeah. I've an idea. What? Josh will cause murder in an empty house. Yeah, well, don't let Luke's innocent looks fool you. He's been right swine lately. Well, he's bound to be, isn't he? His mum and dad have just split up. As long as you just make a habit of it. Right, that is me out of here. I'm going into town. There you go. Hey, what are you doing back from work? Oh, I'm just on my dinner. Mm -hmm. Hey, -o. not in front of me, customers. Oh, I just thought I'd pop in and see the love of my life. Oh, mm. You watch yourself, he's after something. See you later. See you later. Don't work too hard. Do you want a coffee? Oh, yeah, I'd love one. Listen, Ruth, um, <clears throat> I've been offered a job out in Hong Kong and they want me out there as soon as I can. I want you to come with me. No, not until you talk to me. I think I want on a job. Make it quick. Can we go inside? It'd be three times the amount I'm earning now. Free accommodation, free health care, and you should see the schools, Ruth. They're spot on. I mean, it would be such a good start to Luke's education. Yeah, it sounds great, but... Yeah, but what? I don't think now's the right time. Oh, Ruth, we're still living with your mum and dad. You work in some crummy bar. I can't think of a more perfect time. I need to sort out my divorce. Yeah, but the job's not going to wait that long. And I can't see Sean let me take Luke. Well, listen, it's only for 12 months. I can pay for you both to fly back during the school holidays, and Sean can see him then. We'd earn so much money. We've just set up for the rest of our lives. Listen, Ruth, this is a golden opportunity here. For you, for Luke, for me. All right. I'll see what Sean says. Yes. <laughs> well? Any chance of a coffee? White, two sugars. Of he'd never leave. <laughs> Still, I was generous of you, yeah, donating all that money to the college. Well, that money was always meant as an investment for my future, and you and Emily are my future. 500 quid, that's a lot of money. Can't take it with you. Like you, Nan. Usually you're so, um, tight. Well, you said it, not me. <laughs> decided to go to Spain. <gasps> Good for you. What did you say to Ray to make him change his mind? Well, I haven't told him yet. I will. As soon as we get home. Hey, where have you two been? Oh, um, I've been giving Tim a card to mm. Hey, what you reckon, Jerome? Yeah, gorgeous. Suit me? Yeah. Give us a 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you after? Nothing. I told you. When I heard Marty had been arrested, I wanted to make sure you were all right. Well, we are, so you can go back to where you came from and stop worrying. Where's Adele? Out. What's she planning to do with herself? Stay on at college? Look, you said you had something to say, so say it. Do you know there's not a day goes by when I don't think of the three of you? Oh, you'll have me crying in a minute. You're not making this easy for me. Well, what did you expect? That you could waltz in here after all these years and I'd be pleased to see you? No. And what about me dad? Do you think he ever wants to see you again? He's not my concern. You, Adele and Anthony are. Well, it didn't stop you walking out on us. Look, Steve, I've done my time on the cross. I won't be made to feel any more guilt. What's done is done. I can't change that. We don't need you. We've managed all this time without you. I'm still your mother. No, you're not. You never stop caring for your kids. You never stop worrying about them. You never stop loving them. Yeah, well, I learned to stop loving you a long time ago. I know you're angry. You've got every right to Where be, were you but... when Aunt lost his first tooth, eh? When Aunt Adele had her first period? Where were you when I was wet in the bed, still having nightmares about everything that went on? I've told you, I tried to keep in touch. It was your dad. He was the one who stopped me. Yeah, yeah, me. whatever. I remember not long after I left, you were playing in the school football team for some final. I wanted to go and watch, but your dad wouldn't let me. He threatened to make a big fuss if I turned up. Well, I took no notice. Ended up watching the match from a distance, hidden behind a tree. Wishing I could have stayed on the touchline to cheer you on. I hid behind all the other mums and dads when I took this. I stayed just long enough to see you get the trophy. And I had to leave in case Marty spotted me. Why are we waiting? Josh, you won't get any if you carry on like this. Hiya. Hiya. Where have you been? Hey, my dad's doing laundry. I told you this morning. And you've all just finished? 
Yeah, well, you know what he's like when he starts interfering. Everything takes twice as long. Have you had a drink? Yeah, well, I forgot my key to the flat and well, I didn't think he'd be in. I seen Bevan by a brookie and nipped into both ways. And you had to have a drink? She bought me one. Mike, that was over an hour ago. Well, you know what she's like when she starts talking. She can go up for England. I was thinking last night about what you said about Marty not passing on the presents I sent. Did you ever get a watch? An old one? It was my dad's. He left me it when he died. Along with a war medal that I sent for Anthony. And a bracelet of my mum's for Adele. Well, my dad'll have had his reasons for not giving us them. I stopped sending things after a few years when I never heard anything back. But I never thought he would have sunk this low. He was trying to protect us. From what? The truth? I, I know the truth. According to Marty, you've never heard my side of the story. I did yesterday, and nothing's changed my opinion of you or what you did. Your dad should have told you that I tried to keep in touch. He should have explained that no matter what, I still loved you. Not for my sake, but for yours. Instead of poisoning your minds, using you all to get back at me. Pretending that I wanted nothing to do with your lives when I did. I know what I did was wrong. But there's still no excuse for your dad to do this. You'd best go. Steve, can't you see what he's done? Just go. All right. But tell your dad I want to talk to him. Thanks for stating. It's been perfect. I wish I had money. I wish I had money. I don't just mean enough to get by. I mean serious spondoolies. What would you do with a couple of million? <laughs> Spend it. And what? Big house, sports car. Yeah, buy that beauty salon. Get lost. I'd be late to your leisure. Yeah, I'd have to work. Otherwise, I get bored. I'd have my own business, though. Other people working for me. I must have to give our Nick some. Yeah, we could throw away a couple of grand. Bah, do you think we're right, pair of skin flints? <laughs> no, she wouldn't. Yeah, Nick, if me and Em were to give you a couple of grand, would you be made up? Yeah, too right I would. See? What's up? Nothing. Just talking about money when we've got none. It won't always be like that, you know. No. I know. I'm a graduate now. I'm gonna work really hard, get my own shop, and get us a place. See, Tim, stick with me. You'll be going places, lad. Oh, come here. You should be going to town for a birthday drink. Have you got enough money? Well, enough for us to get bladdered. Sorted? <laughs> Just fancy coming? No. Yeah. Come on, Jay. You go if you want. What's up? No, mate, I'm just knackered, that's all. Oh, don't be so boring. I don't want to, all right? Please yourself, then. You come on. No. Come on, then, Tim. That's all get ready. <laughs> chance to spend the winter somewhere warm. Free accommodation, swimming pool, and you're women and iron about whether to go. But you never mentioned anything about going away for 12 weeks. That's three months. Well, I want to get to know the place better, make sure I really like it, before I make a decision. About what? About whether I want to live there. You shouldn't have made this decision without discussing it with me first. I've tried. Heaven knows how many times. Your trouble is you don't listen. I do. Have I ever said to you that I'd like to live in Spain? Thank you. Well, everybody says that when they come back from holiday. I didn't for one minute take you seriously. Well, now you know. What about Emily and Nicky? What, what about them? They're grown-up girls. They don't need me around. They've got their own lives to lead, just like me. Look, Jess, we've got to talk this through. What's the point? Look around you. I mean, how can we possibly agree about going to live abroad when we can't even decide what furniture to buy? What if I don't go? Well, that's your decision. But it won't make me change mine. Tried that lived in the jungle somewhere. 
so. It's not funny, Mike. Just get him out. I haven't finished yet. Pass me a towel. Come on, Josh. Your mum says I've got to wash my arms when I've been in the toilet. Get out! You can do that later. And not next time. Josh didn't mean any harm, it's just what he's used to. Look, I'll have a word with him. No, I've had enough. It won't happen again. I'm sick of living with other people. It's not gonna last forever. Never having any privacy, never having time to ourselves. Look, Rachel, I know you're fed up, but there's no need for all of this. I'm 18, you in bed together. What together? You know what I mean. No, I don't. I feel like I'm a spare part when I'm around you two. Oh, don't be daft. What about this morning? You walking around in your boxes, they're slapping your backside. You should stop and think, you know how I feel about you two. So you coming? And where are we gonna go? I don't know. I'll go back to that B&B. Rachel, we're not going back there. I'm not taking bed there. It's filthy. Well, we'll find somewhere else. We've got no money. Rach. Mike, I just want to have a place of our own. Yeah, and we will do soon. I promise you. She's never stopped loving or caring about us. And you believe that? Actually, I'm not that bothered about going back to ours tonight. All right. So after hardly contacting you, you thought you'd just pop round for a quick Lego video. And that'll be on Wednesday at 8. Plus, there'll now be a new regular Brookie double bill starting next Thursday from 8 o'clock. Next, it's Friends.